Hello, this is Shadowblade730, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IV. Let's go hunt us a Dark Elf. Yeah, sorry for the lack of content lately. It's been a really rough week. Oh, more of these guys. Yeah, don't need the XP right now. It's been a really awful week, but now, let's get back on track. Wow, you're not a pretty... Wow, look at that text. Yeah, they really went into it, didn't they? I do like how they linked the idea of a elf character in Norse with North, Norse mythology. And here we have our battle with the dark elf. He doesn't look like much. Hopefully, he's not as strong as those dark those dark elf characters in Final Fantasy One. Withstand this. Okay, it's just the fear of spell. Ow. Okay. Is he going for the trifecta? Oh, well, that didn't end up well. Yeah, here's a little tidbit. Um, if you come here without talking to Edward first in Troya, yeah, it's pretty much uh, GG. <laughs> so, never forget, always go talk to the Bard. And how would you know this? Are you a Jedi? Wait, if you had the power of sensing danger occurring in a deep magnetic cave... Leagues away, and um, yet that's all. You're so limited in combat. Oy. To get your harp. Wow. So um, we're going to defeat the dark elf with the power of music. Okay. Wow, so, um, that's what's gonna happen. Yep, so, because since you have the twin harp, you can actually forward the music over and break the magnetic seal. Yeah, in Norse mythology, elves are supposed to be severely weak to iron and steel, so it would make sense in that idea. So, now you have control again of your party. Equip your iron items. <laughs> Cecil, do what you do. Oh, what you do. All right. Knight's armor. Little Mithril helm action. Okay. Sid. Yeah, let's just give him Mithril gloves. Let's get his attack up as high as possible. Silver armlets. It's the only real difference here. Oh, and we want... um. Yeah. I want Cecil in the middle sit up here so we can get the most out of their damage and it's time for boss time while well, we have beautiful music punch yeah I mean I usually do this with Sid because I mean all he's gonna do is attack so why not just berserk him and uh yeah, just punch him in the face uh you know what no let's go over yeah, let's get some haste on um, Sid. Let's make him actually do something. Yeah. There we go. So he's fast, he's mad, and he's hitting with a hammer. Ooh, Fira. Wow, that's not nearly as powerful. Once again, going with the, with the trifecta. Yeah. Wow, that's not terrible. That's the one thing about... Ooh. Oof, thank god. Yeah, if he hits a tornado, it'll put you in critical damage, so you want to keep up somewhat for healing. Now here, I'm going to show you something that you should not do. Yes, absolutely no way cast any kind of magic on the Dark Elf. Magic is not the key. Oh, I think I had a little disturbance in the Matrix. And let's show folks this. Oh, he's going to Pig him. Where's Pig? And pig is a white magic spell, isn't it? Hey, where's Pig? Where are you? Wait, Pig's black magic? Yeah, there it is. Okay. Guess you learn something new every day. Bam, smack. Say your prayers. For the true form of the Dark Elf. Um, yeah, he's a Dargan. Right, let's get this pig status off of Yang so he can actually hit kind of hard. 
Not bad. Yeah. Something you do want to do, um, it's a good point to use your spider shield. Slow him down a little bit so he's not nearly as, you know, a problem. Not saying this boss is a problem, but I like to make him less of a problem. Okay, I'm gonna show you right here. Do not cast magic on him, and this is why. Magic does nothing. Stick with the physical attacks, beat him up, heal up. Not that difficult, boss. I do like, like I said, I do like sticking slow on him. That way he kind of helps mitigate his damage. Uh, well, we can cure. Let's show the power of Kiraga. Yay. Ooh, that's not good. Ow! That's one thing about Sid. His damage is very, very, very... And there we go. Dead Dargan. Yay! Completing that battle, we get a bunch of XP. Cecil and Yang gain levels. Good job. Yeah, your eternal life just got cut short there, buddy. Yeah, you finally accomplished something useful. Besides being a warm body. Now we obtained Earth Crystal. Yeah, let's get it back to the people of, um... Troya. See if those epots have any kind of gift for us. But before we do that, let's walk out of here. But once we're in, in this actual section, you can actually use the emergency exit you got. So you don't have to walk all the way out. Even though with all the equipment now actually on your characters, it shouldn't be that much of a problem. Here we get our last little bit of Black Chocobo music! Love the Chocobo music. You know what? Yep, let's get our healing up because we have to use some healing. Ugh. Heal. Heal some MP. Talk to the Wach Chocobo. Get our MPs back. Free healing. Nothing's wrong with that. You know what? I want some more Chocobo time. I love Chocobo time. Yeah. Chocobo time. Oh. Ow. Now, I guess we could sell some crap later, but not right now. Four, let's go talk to the epots. The first time I was ever exposed to the, the term epot, I guess, was watching 300 a while back. Because the epots in that movie were really horrible and disgusting and just vile people. Uh, even if you can call them people, but when I heard that these were epots, I was like, well, these epots aren't that bad. They're actually quite nice. Yep. Hurrah! Here's your crystal bag. Oh. Ah, uh, who could this be? That voice! <gasps> Kane! So wait up, the trade was to give me Rosa, okay? So just get on get on your airship, grab her, and bring her over here, and we'll trade. Oh! Free treasure? Don't mind if I do. Yeah, if you went for this treasure earlier, he would have actually the guard would have actually stopped you. I can't say he because this is supposedly a kingdom of women. Interesting. Yep, Troy Castle. The jail. Let's go here. Yeah, it was once a dungeon, now it's a treasure room. Yay! Let's see what kind of treasure they have. Oh my god, that's a lot of treasure boxes. Yep, mostly just consumables. Yep, dry ether. Elixir, nice. And great bow. That's really good, especially in other games. And you also get all the different uh, elemental arrows here, so it's nice. Echo herbs, silver apple for later, dry ether, consumables. <sighs> Not bad at all. Let's see what we got here. Yep, we're gonna sort by. Yeah, let's take a look at what we got here. Yep, one of each elemental arrow and the meat arrows. Those are gonna come in nice really soon. Here, over here, over here, cut the door. Right. Probably gonna sell some of that crap before we go on our get on our airship and go talk to Kane. And because like I said there's a lot of you get a lot of items in this game that aren't really that necessary. I mean they're nice, but me. Alright. 
Let's go sell some treasure. Here we go. No need to buy. Let's sell. Let's see. Don't need unicorn horns. Uh, yeah, I don't need these elemental items. Uh, Curial Wister, don't need them. Um, you probably could sell the hourglasses, but I don't care. I'll keep them, I guess. They're not terrible, but eh. Yep, don't need a bow when we have a great bow. Uh, wooden Hammer, don't need it anymore. Blood Lance, don't need it. Uh, yep. Ruby Rings, don't need it anymore. Sell this crap. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I think we're good to go. Let's hop on our airship and see if we can get Rosa back. I mean, that was the deal, right? You know, we all know villains are um, so scrupulous to their word. But will he deliver um, Rosa? We'll be reunited with our one true love. Let's find out now. Yeah, I'm going to go for a little length on this video since it's been a little while since I've actually posted anything. So now we actually go have to go to the Tower of Sot. You can't just bring her to us. I mean, we went through this all this work of actually going through the Earth Cave, the Magnetic Cave. Yeah, thanks, Kane. Oh, Master Golbez. Golbez. Oh, that music is really, really intimidating. Golbez is a really, really good Final Fantasy villain. Not the best Final Fantasy villain, but still really good. First thing you want to do, uh, mm, hold on, no, 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 okay, I had it right, dadgummit, yeah, you want fire weapons here, because everything in here is basically ice based, so if you can get fire elemental stuff, you're doing pretty good, right here we have ice lizards and gremlins, gremlins can be annoying because they can cast muddle, which can be a real pain in the butt, but they're not terrible, Successful. Good work. Once again, let's stick with bio. So good. Costs a lot of MP, but instant cast, great non-elemental damage. Hammer time! Dun, 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 dun. Thank you, Sid. Yay, if you won that battle, Sid gains a level. Not bad. Sits in this chest. Some flame mail. Yes, equip it now, but. There will be something. That's really why I didn't want to get the Mithril Mail because I knew I was going to get the Flame Mail right here, which is infinitely better. But I will show you an instance in this tower where you don't want that. And here we have some new enemies puppets and puppeteers. Uh, if you do kill the, pup, the puppets, the uh, puppeteer will eventually respawn more puppets. So. Oh. Uh, but it'll work. I think I should kill them both. Yeah. Sid, kill them. Hammer time. Okay. Yeah, if you don't kill the puppeteer quick enough, whenever there are no puppets, she'll actually summon more puppets, which can just really be downright annoying. And this is kind of maze-like, but with a with a little map, you know, I'll do a little exploring. Like I always said, I'm not the greatest player at this game. Pretty good, played it a lot, but not necessarily the best. More puppets, puppeteers, he never go. Punch puppeteer in the face. Puppets really ain't great. Puppets can drop decoys, which are all right, I guess. Let's try and get some MP back. When in doubt, always try and get some MP back. Especially because Tella's MP pool is really not the greatest. But it is what it is. Yay, Cecil learned Asuna. Awesome. Oh, wrong way. Let's go over here. Come on. Don't. Come on, there's a map. Come on, Shadowblade, you're better than this. We have a new enemy, Hell Turtles. Here you'll watch another one of my mistakes. Because I figured, you know what? Most everything's weak to fire. I noticed that they call them hell turtles for a reason. If they're from hell. And being from hell, they absorb fire. Which we'll display right now. <laughs> yes, marvel in my pain. Marvel in the pain, viewers. Unlike some YouTubers, I actually show what not to do in certain situ situations. I'm not saying I'm in any way better than any of them. Believe me, I have learned a lot watching other people play this game. Right. 
Let's head over here and up because I want that treasure chest over there. Oh! Yep, here are new enemies Centaur Knights and Cold Beasts. Gee, I wonder what Cold Beasts are weak against. Wow. Not terrible. Uh, bio. When in doubt, bio. Piff! Oh, we're lowering a little low on MP. Alright. Yep, first thing we'll do. Do not have the flame mail equipped. It makes you weak against fire. Yes. Instead of having, you want ice equipment here because over the chest, there's an encounter with a fire hound. It's kind of throw you off. Nice touch. Watch this. Piff. Yay, yep, telegans a level. And for winning that battle, we get the flame sword. Yeah, now Cecil can really get on the damage. Go back to using our ice equipment, and yeah. Deeper into the Tower of Zot. Uh, hard. I don't feel like fighting. I'm lazy. Go so here. What do we have here? Uh, more mazes? Let's just leave. Oh, heck with it. I'll display the power of the Fire Sword. Yeah. Isn't that nice? Oh, I'm almost out of MP. Whatever shall we do? Let's try and absorb some MP with Osmosis. Far more useful than people gave it credit for. At least when I was playing it as a kid. Free MP. Nah, not a lot, but it's something, I guess. Okay. Sid's damage. I know I keep saying it, but Sid's damage is way too random. Speaking of Sid, he gains a level. Yay. Sid over here. Hmm. Make our way through this maze of the Tower of Zot. Up another floor. Brack Knights. Are they Dark Knights? No, just Brack Knights. Yay, another level for Sid. Cecil. Yeah, so this is when Cecil really becomes a truly, truly big powerhouse. His elemental swords and his development gets really good now. Oh, God, not these guys. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I think they're weak to most elemental spells, but I really don't have the MP to waste on them, or the time to waste on them. Let's head up here. New enemy, sorceresses. Now, you could mini them, because they do have a pretty nasty little counterattack. Me, I just want to punch them in the face. Let's get rid of these Black Knights. Uh, stick with Bio. Can't go wrong there. Bio! Ow! Quit it. Punch him in the face. Yay! More XP, more gill. But can we make our way through the Tower of Zot and rescue Rosa? What could be through these doors? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy IV. It's the Shadow Blade 730. Have a good day, peace out, and see you next time.